2024. So on April 23rd, we are going to be having our full moon in Scorpio energy. And of course, this is going to be taking place at four degrees. So it's a relatively new chapter. And seeing, of course, as we just came out of the eclipse season and we kind of, you know, started seeing the pieces of this new version of self actually be brought into the physical realm, this is going to be the major, major change point, transformation point, which Scorpio energy is all about. So let's talk about it. First of all, we are going to reach the peak potency at 7.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is at this point in time in this little rant that I'm going to encourage you to access the moon guide. Now I've been doing new delivery methods of the moon guide where we get to do a deep dive in how these particular moon events are going to affect humanity, as well as how you can apply this information and really see what is changing, what is transforming according to your own individual chart. You can access this particular moon guide special for $11 Canadian on my website or if you are a patreon member a gold tier of course this is going to be free access for you and if you are another tier on patreon then of course grab your discount code this is a beautiful time to actually do a deep dive in what has actually changed what has actually transformed not only in your physical realm but in your soul in your spirit we have to understand that a full moon is a full illumination of hidden details of perspectives of information that now are coming to light in order for us to gain new perspective gain a new awareness scorpio energy being a fixed water sign means that we are looking to reevaluate how it is that we're thinking how it is that we're feeling our physical circumstances and essentially reevaluating what needs to stay what needs to go this fixed energy wants to stabilize in our emotional and spiritual realm however we have to kind of clear out the old and make space for the new before any major changes any major transformations are going to take hold the scorpio energy being about death rebirth resurrection that's how true transformation takes place it's about shedding the layers of the old egoic programming the old identity the old version of self in order to stand in a new completion point a new sense of wholeness but of course shadow work is the name of the game that comes with the Scorpio energy. So of course, the sun is in Taurus energy, a fixed earth sign. Scorpio energy is a fixed water sign. And when you add water to earth, things tend to grow. This is us growing into a new form. Taurus energy is about the actual physical matter, the physical form that we take here in our physical realm, in our physical bodies, in our physical lives. The Taurus energy is illuminating what it is that we have what it is that we've built what it is that we've created what it is that we want to build and create to not only kind of boss up our positive physical experiences but also kind of get in alignment with our new wants needs and desires our new personal values the taurus energy is all about safety security stability but yet we aren't really feeling that particular vibe as of right now reason being we are still very much in this eclipse energy this full moon in Scorpio is going to officially close the door on the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra and energy that kicked off the eclipse season that we are now watching kind of dwindle and dissipate. But that new moon total solar eclipse in Aries energy that we had April 8th is still very alive, is still very much pushing us into this new identity, into this new chapter, into this new beginning. And of course, that particular energy is going to be playing in the background until we have our new moon in Taurus in early May. So this full moon in Scorpio is really pushing us to see what it is that has to end, what has to die, what we have to totally destroy in order for us to actually boss up into our new form, into our new role, into our new responsibility, into our new identity. This is about change. And again, in fixed energy, fixed signs, we resist and hesitate to make change, even though we know it's what we have to do. 
And so there's a little bit of friction, a little bit of tension here, this push and pull, because we know we have to grow, we know we have to heal, we know we have to evolve, but there's a lot of fear and doubt and insecurity popping up in us. Again, shadow work preventing us from actually embodying the change, the transformation that we know we have to go through. And so, you know, Pluto is in his rulership over the Scorpio energy. Venus is in the rulership over Taurus season. And Mars being the co-ruler to the Scorpio energy is also having a major impact. So when we look at Venus, well, she's in Aries energy and Mars rules over that Aries energy. Pluto is in Aquarius energy and Mars is in Pisces energy. So there's definitely some, let's call it consciousness needed, some enlightenment needed, some awareness needed in order for us to understand where we can do better, what we can improve upon, where it is that we have to bust out of our comfort zone of this particular, let's call it box that we've created for our lives in order for us to kind of hulk out into this new version of self. So where the Taurus energy is kind of, you know, stabilizing, it's showing us where it is in our physical realms that A, things aren't working, B, where people have to go, C, where chapters are closing, we are also evaluating where it is that we have to get back to the basics, the simple little creature comforts that make us happy. This is all about realizing that we have to be so solid, so sure within ourselves, within our inner realm, that it doesn't matter what's going on in the physical physical realm, as long as we are centered and grounded and in alignment with our higher selves, all is well. We can create a very happy realm and reality in our inner realm, regardless of what is happening in our outer realm. And the Scorpio energy, of course, is let's call it the veil between the physical tangible realm and the metaphysical realm. And that is because, of course, Scorpio energy in the Zodiac Wheel is when we are stepping out of building the physical egoic identity. We start kind of expanding on our spiritual identity, our intuitive identity, our soul self. And so this is a very tough, very intense transitional period because this new version of self just came out to play and it's still very uncomfortable and unfamiliar to us. We are kind of reevaluating who it is that we are, what it is that we want, what it is that we need, what it is that we desire. When we talk about desire, that is definitely Scorpio energy. And we need to figure out what it is that our higher selves are asking us to do, asking us to pursue in order to peel back the layers of the fears, doubts, and insecurities in our egoic programming in order for us to actually have a path to move forward upon. Aggressing ourselves, asserting ourselves to make things happen. And again, Mars, the co-ruler over the Scorpio energy, is in the final degrees of Pisces energy. He's completing his time throughout the Zodiac Wheel before entering into his rulership and his place of power where he is resurrected, being brought back to life. Mars in this Pisces energy is trying to get in alignment with the new emotional, intuitive, and spiritual want, need, desire, path, passion, really pushing us into a new truth, new mission, new purpose. Pluto, on the other hand, the great transformer himself in this Aquarius energy needs us to act as the observer. That's a very hard thing to do with the sun in Taurus because the sun in Taurus makes us focused on this present moment, very connected to the physical body, to the five senses, to the ego identity in which we're building. So again, there's a whole bunch of tension. There's a whole bunch of conflict really being illuminated with this full moon in Scorpio because we are at a very important growth point. So again, I am going to recommend that you jump over, that you snag yourself a spot in this particular full moon Scorpio moon guide edition. We're going to go through the elemental energies, how they have shifted. We're going to go through all of the different aspects taking place and how that not only is going to affect the growth, the evolvement of humanity, but how this is going to be pushing us in a totally new growth pattern in our own individual charts. But heads up, Pluto, the ruler over the Scorpio energy, the ruler over this full moon, 
He's in some very interesting conflicts with other planets under this particular full moon event. We do have a lot of support, a lot of encouraging aspects, but the ones that are creating tension and conflict are definitely going to put us all the way into the depths of our darkness in order to get a close up view of the shadow parts of ourselves that now need to be released, need to be purged, need to be let go of in order for us to solidify in this new identity and start walking on this new path, leading us to new values, to new wants, to new needs, to new desires. But what we have to change, what we have to transform in our inner realm, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, before we're going to see that actually manifest in our physical realm is what this full moon in Scorpio will be most focused on.